Discord company welcomes you. In this video, we will show you how to install and configure the fuel level sensor using the Escort TD500. Installation of the fuel sensor is quite easy and won't take longer than an hour. Installation should always start with preparing the vehicle and the fuel tank. After preparation is done and all safety precautions are observed, proceed to the first step of the installation process. Empty the fuel tank into a container prepared in advance using a fuel calibrator. Make sure there are no buffle plates inside the fuel tank before mounting the sensor. Choose the location as close to the center as possible, so that the sensor readings will be maximally independent of fuel fluctuations. If the sensor is mounted to a gasoline vehicle, evaporate fuel vapors or fill the tank with water. You will need a 35 mm diameter bimetal core bit to drill a hole for installing the sensor. Keep a drill slightly inclined to prevent metal chips from falling inside the tank. Clean the tank surface of metal chips and proceed to the next step. Measure the tank depth and then measure off the sensor length according to the tank depth minus 1 cm from its bottom. For instance, if the tank depth is 53 cm, measure 52 cm of the sensor. It is necessary to do so the measuring tubes don't touch the tank bottom. Adjust the sensor length using a hacksaw. Cut the excess parts of the measuring tube at a slightly angle in order to avoid metal chips getting inside the tube. Deeper edges and then insert insulating cap from the installation kit so that the internal tube doesn't touch the external one. The fuel sensor calibration. Connect the sensor to the computer using the C200 interface converter. Upper and lower levels have to be set after each length measurement. Choose the COM port number, then click Open port button, then press Search for sensors. If the sensor is in a mode other than RS485, it can connect with the TD500 software only during the first 30 seconds after it is turned on. Then it will roll back to the previous mode. Connection with computer will be unavailable and power reset will be required. Press search for sensors right after the sensor is connected. If everything is done correctly, the software will determine serial number and actual parameters of the sensor. Notice that after you cut off the tube, the initial readings of the dry sensor differs from parameters empty tank that was set previously. That's why upper and lower levels have to be recalibrated. Levels calibration starts with disabling the smoothing of fuel level fluctuations. Set average levels to zero, then press set modes. There are two ways of sensor calibration available. The first way – immerse the sensor into the fuel and wait for the fuel level to stabilize. Press the Set Initial Readings button in front of the full caption. Take the sensor out of the tank and let the fuel drain. Wait for the fuel level to stabilize. Then click the Set Initial Readings button in front of the empty caption. Calibration is finished. If you don't have any container, use the second way to set upper and lower levels. Close up the drainage hole at the sensor bottom with a tape and turn the sensor a flange down. Fill the fuel between measuring tubes and after level stabilizes, calibrate full condition. Drain the fuel and calibrate empty condition. After the calibration is finished, do not forget to remove the tape from the drainage hole. 
before mounting the sensor into the tank, in order to avoid moisture and fuel ingress, install a gasket from the installation kit in the following way. Overlap the gasket hole with the hole of the sensor flange. Keep the gasket lug should point in towards cable input. Insert the sensor into the tank so that the cable input points towards the car frame to 12 o'clock. And mount it using screws from the installation kit. Then plug in the sensor to a wire harness laid beforehand. Important! Escort specialists recommend to avoid hot and moving parts of the vehicle when you lay the cable along the car frame. Seal the plug in one of the screws to protect the sensor from unauthorized access. The final step is to connect the sensor to GPS GLONASS transport tracking system. The Escort TD500 fuel level sensor can operate in different modes of connection that makes it compatible with any terminal. Regardless of chosen mode, the terminal connects in the same way for all the modes. Red wire is positive side of fuel level sensor and should be connected to the positive plus side of car circuit through a resistor. Important! It is strongly recommended to use in the circuit the resistor from the installation kit and connect it in series. For a 24-volt circuit, it is 620 ohm and 120 ohm for a 12-volt circuit. Black wire is ground of the sensor that should be connected to the negative minus side of the car battery. The next step is to connect information wires to the monitoring terminal. In this video, we will examine three connection modes RS-485, analog and frequency modes. Confirm that the sensor is in the RS-485 mode and then connect orange wire to the line A of the terminal and white wire to the line B. Frequency mode. In frequency mode, only orange wire is connected to the terminal input. For some terminals, pull-up resistor is required. For this purpose, it is better to use a 1 kilo ohm resistor. Analog mode. You will need a filter from the installation kit to connect the terminal in this mode. Orange wire of the filter is connected to orange wire of the sensor. Brown wire of the filter is connected to black wire of the sensor and yellow wire is connected to the analog input of the terminal. Calibration. It should be noted that Escort TD sensors measure the fuel level, not volume. In order to link sensor level with specific volume, calibration is needed. We recommend to perform this procedure at least 10 times but more flow measurement may be needed for accurate readings for tanks with complex shapes. Fuel level to volume conversion is performed using calibration tables in analytical software. Fill the first portion of fuel. Wait until the fuel level to stabilize. Fill in level reading to the calibration table. Repeat for each portion to full tank. Enable smoothing when calibration is finished. The process of installation of fuel level sensor is finished. The escort professionals are always ready to answer any questions concerning installation, integration and operation of escort equipment. Please contact our 24-7 technical support by the hotline number. Thanks for watching our video tutorial and for your interest in our product.